Hey, you really piss me off. Do you know that? Just what in the world do you think you're doing trying to marry my brother, you cow? You really need to learn your place and back off of him, got it? I'm sorry, what? What is all of this about? I heard the news from my mom. She told me that you and my brother were going to be getting married. Well, I'm not going to let him end up with a fatty like you. I know that you only care about yourself and you just want to use my brother. I won't let you get away with this. I really have no idea what you're talking about at all, but we've already legally filed our marriage. Of course we're going to have a wedding. I don't get what the problem is. I know that. But obviously it's the wedding that everyone is going to remember. And I am not going to let you get away with having that wedding. You mean that you're going to try and stop your brother and I from getting married? That's right. You two might be married on paper, but it's the wedding where you say your vows in front of everyone. And I am going to ruin that and spoil your marriage from then on. No. That's going to drive a wedge between you and finally break you two up. So what? So don't think that I'm going to let you get away with what you're trying to pull here. Well, well, I appreciate how upfront you're being to me with all of this. I'm afraid that that won't do. And why would you even want to do this? As far as I know, your mom is really looking forward to us getting married. Well, I'm not looking forward to it one bit. So there. And I know that if I can convince enough people to see things my way, that I can ruin your wedding like that. Uh Renee, I really think that you're being unreasonable here. I mean, come on. Uh, no. The only unreasonable one around here is you. You really think that anyone is going to want to see someone like you get married? No one is even going to go to your stupid wedding. I can guarantee you that. There isn't anyone who will want to take the time to see you. <laughs> Renee, please. Can't we just try and talk this out like adults? I mean, don't you think all the name-calling and ranting is just a little bit childish? You think I care at all about what you like? I'll call you names I want to call you. Fat, fatty, fat pig. A person like you can't get married because only pretty people are allowed to get married. Which means that, of course, my brother and his tux will be fine. But he should be standing at the altar waiting for some fat cow like you to walk down the aisle. That will just be a waste of everyone's time and a huge waste of money. I really don't understand what is making you act this way. I mean, I don't think that anyone else feels this way except you. I am going to stop this from happening so that I don't have to suffer through the shame of being your sister-in-law. Your wedding is going to blow up in your face. Don't think that just because you've gotten the legal bit out of the way that you're going to end up with my brother. Brad. <clears throat> hey there, Trish. I was just thinking about where we should do our wedding, and I really do like Green Acres as the location. What do you think? I feel like of all the places that we went to check out, it was the one with the best atmosphere and would just make for a really pretty scenery. Wait, what? You really want to do Green Acres? But just earlier you were talking about doing a totally different venue, right? I mean, we've already paid the money to ask that other place to hold our dates for us, remember? I know, I know, but I was reviewing all of our options, and I really do think that Green Acres is going to be the place to do it. In fact, I had a friend tell me that Green Acres was probably the best spot we could find. And then, looking it over again... I thought they really had a point. Well, I can seriously see us getting married there. Well, I just... I guess I'm just surprised that you changed your mind about this so quickly is all. But I guess I'm not too strongly attached to either place. Awesome. Perfect. Then Green Acres it is. I've actually already called ahead and signed a contract with Green Acres, so we're all good. Can you believe that we're going to be getting married in just two more months? This is crazy. Oh, would you mind calling the other place and canceling for us? Well, hold on a second. Do you mean to tell me that you already signed with Green Acres to have our wedding there? And when did we say we're going to be getting married in two months? I thought we were still figuring out the dates. 
well, if we don't get married on the day that I arrange for, then the reservation just wouldn't work out. <laughs> okay, but you shouldn't have just gone out and done that by yourself. I mean, we're going to be getting married. We should be choosing these things together. No, it's fine. You have nothing to worry about at all. Besides, we still have two months and plenty of time to figure things out. And it's not like people are going to want to miss our wedding, so it's fine whatever day we choose to do it. I just... That's not the point that I'm trying to get at here, Brad. I just wish that you would have talked to me a bit more before doing this. Well, it's already done now, so I don't really see the point of throwing a fit like this. Oh, just a heads up, we're going to be getting married in the morning. So we're not going to have any kind of reception either. And we're going to be getting married in a chapel, and then maybe we'll just go out somewhere and invite friends out. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be getting there until the very last minute, so you'll have to get there early and set all this up. Sound good? Now, hold on for just one second. I thought we agreed that we didn't want to do this in a chapel. Not only that, but I thought that we wanted to have a big reception dinner. And just what do you mean you're going to be late? Late to the wedding? Late to the after party? What is going on here? Why am I having to do any of this by myself when we should be doing all of this together as husband and wife? Right, well, I would be there to help with all of that, but... Well, the thing is that I just have some errands that I'll have to run that day and I can't do them any other day. You're going to be running errands on our wedding day. Are you serious? If that's the case, let's get married on another day. It sounds like you're going to be too busy with your errands to help me out. So I think we should just reschedule the whole thing. Oh, no, we can't do that. I already set everything up. It has to be on that day. It has to be in the morning, just like I arranged it. Well, can you at least give me a good reason for why it has to go exactly that way when we agreed on something completely different? Look, I really don't have the time to get into all of this with you right now, but it just has to be that way, okay? Besides, I've already signed the contract and everything. So if we tried to change things around now, it would cost a fee. And that would just make more trouble for everyone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle everything. I really can't believe the nerve of you. I tried to warn you. Told you that you'd regret this and you're still getting married. You really have some serious nerve, do you know that? You should have listened to me when you had the chance, Trish. You know, Trish, I actually really can't take the blame on this one. I actually did try to, at the very least, put off the wedding. But it was actually Brad who arranged for all of this today. In fact, by the time he told me about it, he had already signed the contracts with the venue and everything, so there was nothing I could do. Wait, what? You mean that it was my brother who picked this place out? Exactly. But since he did it, hopefully you at least know that we're serious about getting married. I hope that you can enjoy the event at the very least. D don't, don't you think that you've gotten away with this? You really think that I'm just going to believe that my brother put all of this together? I just know that you probably forced him to do this, didn't you? You really think that I forced him to have it so that we'd be getting married here today? Just admit it! But you know what? There's still time for you to listen to what I have to say. You can still go home. You really think that I'm going to leave my own wedding? I really don't think you know how weddings work. Oh, don't you worry about that. We don't need you here at the wedding either. You see, I've already found Brad a new wife. So just leave already. I found a girl much more pretty than you. She'll make a much better wife for Brad than you ever would. So I'll let the wedding happen. Just not with you as the bride. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You're really going to try and switch out the bride at the last second? That's right. I told you that I wasn't going to let my brother end up with a nasty old cow like you. I tried to warn you. But you just wouldn't listen. But I'll have you know that I put a lot of planning into today. For hours and 
hours I thought about the best way that I'd be able to ruin your wedding. And then I finally figured it out. So I went and found a new wife for Brad to marry. Wow, yeah, I can tell you really must have put a lot of thought into this. It's foolproof. Although, I have to say, I knew that you didn't approve of Brad and I getting married. But I never imagined you'd try something like this. Well, that's what you get for underestimating me. I told you that I wasn't going to let a fatty like you marry my brother. And now I can give my brother the best wedding present of all. A much better wife than the one that he would have married. And trust me, I took a long, long time picking up the perfect woman for Brad to end up with. I just know that he's going to like her a thousand times better than you. You have got to be kidding me. I really can't believe that you would do this. What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh, don't be sad just because I've outsmarted you. The truth is that you never stood a chance to begin with. But I just know that Brad is going to be so happy. He'll be overjoyed when he finally sees who it is that I've chosen to be his new wife. Not to mention that I'm getting two birds with one stone. Wow. Well, I guess I'll give you an A-plus for effort, but this is just stupid. I mean, do you really think that something like this could ever work? That anyone would go along with this? <laughs> what are you talking about? What part of this is crazy, huh? Do you have any idea how hard I worked picking up the perfect wife for Brad? I used his picture to create a dating profile for him and talked to dozens of women looking for the perfect match. Mwah. Was very, very strict with who I swiped on, too. Oh, hold on a second. You're telling me that you found this person who is going to replace me as Brad's wife in a dating app? Of course I did! There's all kinds of people on there, and I knew that with enough time, I'd find the right person. And I guess I shouldn't have expected anything less for a profile with his face on it. He got all kinds of matches. There were actually so many women who I couldn't even talk to. But finally, I found one who stood out. She was beautiful and went to a good school. I just know that Brad is going to want to marry her right away. Yeah, I really don't know if that is how this is all going to go down. Ha! That's what a loser like you would say. But you're just jealous because you realize that I've come up with the perfect plan and that nothing is going to stop me now. So why don't you just give up on this whole thing and go home already, huh? My brother doesn't need you around anymore. Besides, I called ahead to this venue and already told him that there would be a change to the bride's name. <laughs> I'm sorry, you what? Did you really do that? Oh, that's right. I got up first thing in the morning to call them and tell them that there had been a mistake in the preparations. So it was never, ever your wedding to begin with. Don't you get it? I've already won. Now just turn around and go home because Brad is marrying someone else. Okay, then. <laughs> Fine. In fact, you know that I thank you for doing this. If this is what it's going to take for me to be able to get out of this wedding, then... Well... It's unorthodox, but I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to be thanking me for kicking you out of your own wedding. I'm sure that you thought I'd be breaking down into tears and crying, begging you not to do this. But the fact of the matter is that even before we were going to have this wedding, I was already thinking of leaving Brad. I just wasn't sure how I was going to be able to get out of doing this wedding. But now you've given me the perfect excuse. No, wait. This doesn't make any sense at all. Why in the world would you want to try and leave my brother? I mean, he's perfect! He's the one that's way too good for you! Did you hit your head or something like that? You should be crushed. Devastated right now! Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you did want to happen when I found out about this plan of yours. But the fact of the matter is that for how perfect your brother pretends to be, it's all just an act. In fact, I bet you didn't know that your brother was already trying to marry two women in one day. The whole reason that we're having ours in the morning is so that he can run off and get married again this evening. I'd never want anything to do with that piece of trash again. What are you talking about? My brother isn't going to be married twice in one day. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What are you even talking about? If you want to find out about this, you should go and ask Brad yourself. I'm going to be going home just like you told me. But once again, 
Thank you so much for getting me out of this. I don't get it. How did you know? How did you know that I was going to be having a second wedding in the afternoon? I hadn't told anyone that, you know. There's no way that you should know this was going to happen. I guess you just underestimate the power of women's intuition. I mean, really. Did you think that after all the last-minute decisions about our wedding date and venue that I wouldn't guess anything? You even said that you were going to be late to whatever kind of gathering we were supposed to be having afterwards. Well, after that, I waited until you were asleep one night and I went through your phone. Hold on a second. You what? Why in the world would you do that? To find exactly what I was looking for. All of the proof that you were cheating on me. You met some girl on an app and she didn't care if she was going to be your second wife. You told me that a friend had told you that Green Acres would be the perfect place for our wedding, but it was this other woman's suggestion. Wait, no, no, no. You don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake here. There's no mistake at all, and you know it. The moment I figured out that you were cheating on me, I knew I wanted a divorce. And to think that we had just gotten ourselves legally married. Our parents and friends were looking forward to celebrating with us. I really wasn't sure about how I was going to get out of this until your sister found a replacement for me. Don't Wait, hold on. You know that you're the woman that I love the most, right? If I'm going to lose you, then I don't want a second marriage. This woman said that if we didn't get married, that she would tell you about our affair. You see? She was blackmailing me into this second marriage. Don't you dare and try to pretend to be a victim in this. You're a cheater and a liar, and that's it. And now you're getting what you deserve. Oh, please don't say those kind of things. Look, you know we can still get through this. I was putting off our divorce hoping that something would happen to change my mind. But now I just know that I do want a divorce. And you better believe that I'm going to be suing you for the affair that you've had behind my back. Wait, hold on. You can't be serious about this, right? I mean, you're really going to want to get a divorce? But we're going to be getting married soon. Oh, I won't be getting married to you. In fact, it seems like you have two choices now. You can either marry this woman in the afternoon or take the woman that your sister brought to replace me. At this point, though, I'm just glad to know that I'm not one of your choices. But anyways, it seems to me like you've got some big decisions to make. Trish! You have to help me! Please get back here right now! My brother is in serious trouble! The other woman that Brad was seeing and the woman that I chose to replace you are fighting right now. Oh, it's getting really bad! <gasps> They're kicking and screaming and tearing each other's dresses to shreds! Oof, it's horrible! Wow. Well, that sounds like quite the scene. I'm almost sad to miss it. But that's not all. Uh, it turns out that the woman that I found was actually an ex-girlfriend of Renee. And apparently Brad was still choosing who he wanted to marry. And then the woman that he had been cheating on me with just showed up to fight this other woman? That's right. I guess neither one of them want to give up on my brother, and so now they're just tearing each other apart. But now my brother is saying that he wants to get back together with you. He says he wants to give you one more chance, so please come back. Wow. Well, all of that sounds like a hot mess, but also one that I have no real stake in. But you have to come back. You're married to Brad. I know he said you're going to try and leave him, but you're still his wife. Yeah, I'm not going to do that at all. But I am going to follow through on that divorce. And then I'm going to sue your brother and the woman he was cheating with. Then I'm going to forget all about Brad, and this woman, and especially about you. You can't do that! You have to come back here and put a stop to all of this! Things are bad here. My parents are wondering where you are! Well, then it sounds to me like you have some explaining to do, don't you? But like I said, this isn't my problem anymore. And I refuse to intervene. Good luck with all that. Or not, I don't really care either way. After that, I started getting desperate texts from Brad for me to help him, but I ignored them all. Finally, I just decided to block him. 
Instead, I hired a lawyer to handle the divorce and make sure that Brad and his mistress paid for their affair. Having humiliated himself in front of his friends and family with the fiasco at the wedding, Brad had no one to turn to for help. He had no choice but to take out a loan to pay what he owed me. Not only that, but also had to pay the full price for both weddings. The last thing I heard about Brad was that, in order to raise the money that he needed to clear his debt, he had gone to work on a fishing boat in Alaska, and no one has heard from him since. His parents reached out to me and apologized profusely for their children's behavior. They told me that they kicked Renee out and told her to find her own way in life. Obviously, that isn't how I would have liked my marriage to go at all. But I'm just glad that I was able to get out when I did and avoid getting in harm's way. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. Steven? What the hell is this? I need an explanation. What are you talking about? What's the matter? I received a reminder letter from a bank. It is addressed to you. Oh, that. Did you borrow money? When? I had my reasons. I'm sorry, I've been so busy I've forgotten to tell you. What reasons could there be to borrow such a large amount of money? You have $35,000 of debt? I do, actually. $35,000 is a lot to repay. Why did you borrow money? There were a lot of expenditures. I couldn't make ends meet on my salary, so I ended up borrowing money. Okay, and what did you spend that money on? You know, to do things. What exactly? I will have no mercy unless you give me the details. I spent it to go out for drinks and to play slot machines. And to go to strip clubs. Are you out of your mind? You don't borrow money to go out and have fun. I can replay in installments anyway. I'll figure it out. That's not the point. We don't have any money to spare even though we both work. You can't hold down any job long enough to get a raise. You have a shitty job, too. You only make a thousand dollars a month. Your job doesn't pay well either. With your income, we don't know when we can pay off the debt. Oh, really? You borrowed money without thinking about it. Please, Amanda. Please do something. You were going to depend on me from the beginning, weren't you? Kinda. You're a dependable older wife. How dependent are you? I spoiled you too much because you're younger than me. I'm sure you'll manage to pay off the debt. I believe in you, Amanda. I'm so sorry about the debt. Are you? Really? I will do anything to make up for it when I get home. I'm really sorry. I promise I won't ever borrow money again. You can't undo borrowing the money. We can only pay it off. But this is the last time I forgive you. I know I'm too easy on you, but you don't get a second chance. Thank you, Amanda. I will work hard, too. It won't be easy to repay $35,000, though. We'll have to work multiple jobs. Can we do that? We have to work in our spare time between work. So we don't have any days off? Wow. <laughs> There's no other way. You have to work with me, too. I know. I will work hard. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Not only on our days off, but we'll also schedule a shift before and after work we already have. We'll get paid more if we work in the early mornings and late at night. So don't expect me to do housework. I'll do the chores then. Yes. We'll pay off the debt within three years, no matter what. Can we? It's going to be hard, but we have to do it. The longer time it takes to pay it off, the more interest we'll have to pay. It's better to pay it off as soon as we can, even if we have to make sacrifices. You're intelligent, Amanda. That's what makes you dependable. Anyway, our goal is to pay off the debt within three years. No extravagance until we pay it off. Got it? How much is considered extravagant? No beer, no going out for drinks, no gambling, no going out on the weekends for a while. Wow. You deserve it. You're the one who borrowed money. You have to take responsibility for it. I know. 
six months later. It's midnight. When are you coming home? I'm coming home now. Where have you been so late at night? I was out drinking with my coworkers. What? Why? You're not allowed to go out for drinks. Remember? What do you think you're doing? Cutting loose? Please make an exception. My coworker is getting married. My coworkers and I were celebrating. You understand I can't miss a celebration party, right? Oh boy. If that's the case, I understand. But just don't tell me after it happened. It makes me feel betrayed. Tell me beforehand if you have a reason. I'm sorry. Did you pay by credit card? If so, I have to deposit more money in our account for next month's withdrawal. I did, and I paid for everybody's drinks tonight. What? I couldn't let my coworkers pay. I would have understood if you had bought drinks for your colleague who's getting married. But why did you have to pay for all of your colleagues? Because most of them are younger than me. I don't look good if I don't pay for all of them. And how much was the bill? It was about four hundred dollars. Come on, what are you doing? I'm sorry. It costed more than I expected. We should have gone to the bar during happy hour. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Why do you think I'm working all day and night, sacrificing my sleep? I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. You did something similar last month. Did I? You did. You spent nearly two hundred dollars saying you went out for drinks with your friend last month. You bought a three hundred dollar jacket the other day. You said you'd do the chores, but you don't do them at all. Clothes are a necessity. You could have bought a cheaper jacket. I've been thinking. I'm the only one who's been cutting costs. You're the one who borrowed money. I'm just helping you out. Did you forget that? I didn't. I've been cutting costs too. But I'd go crazy if I can't cut loose once in a while. Just don't splurge any more. We don't have to suffer like this once we pay off the debt. Just be patient for two more years. Two more years? That's a long time. If you don't work with me, I won't work any more either. I'll quit my part-time job. I got it. I'll try not to do it again. Don't get so cranky. Stop messing around. What's your problem? What? I'm just kidding. You don't need to be so upset. Steven, we paid off the debt. Oh, for real? It was sooner than I thought. We paid it off six months earlier than our goal. We really worked hard for the past two years. We really did, didn't we? You still splurge sometimes, but that's not what matters. We should be happy about having paid off the debt. Yeah. I want to talk to you about something on this occasion. I've wanted us to go on a trip together for the first time in a while. What a coincidence! There's something I wanted to tell you too. Is there? You go ahead then. I want a divorce. What? A divorce? Yes, I want to get a divorce from you. Why? We finally paid off the debt. We did pay off the debt, which means you're useless now. What do you mean? Do you still have no clue? <laughs> I made you work hard to pay off the debt. You're joking, aren't you? There's someone else. I'm going to get a divorce from you and marry her. What the? Are you serious right now? She's twelve years younger than you. She is so cute, unlike an old witch like you. She's been telling me to get a divorce, and I've been worried about what to do. Who are you calling an old witch? You're almost forty. You've been so naggish, and I've been so sick of you. I've been naggish because you didn't get yourself together. It's not like I wanted to be naggish. You're nagging again. Are you my mom? <laughs> I can't look at you as a woman anymore. I can't be with you. You said you liked older women before we married. How can you complain about it after all these years? I did like a mature older woman when I was younger, but now that I've gotten older, younger women catch my attention. <laughs> Women should be fresh, you know. <laughs> Every woman ages. Plus, you don't earn much money. My new wife earns two thousand dollars a month. I don't need a low-earning old hag anymore. <laughs> Stop messing around. Have you got any idea how hard I've been hustling for the past two years? I've sacrificed my sleep and meals for work, and have exerted myself. 
And you've been cheating on me with the young woman behind my back? Okay, okay. I had enough of your hardship stories. <laughs> you. I knew you were troublesome, but I didn't know you were such a scumbag. I wouldn't want a man like you even if you beg me. So you agree on a divorce? Don't take it back later. Yeah, I will divorce you. I will sign the divorce papers right now. So bring them to me. Oh, what should we do about the property division? I don't have any property to divide, though. <laughs> I will take my belongings with me, but I'll give you the furniture, the home appliances, and the apartment. It's a rented apartment, anyway. It saves me the effort to look for a new place. Move out ASAP, then. Throw out unnecessary things. You don't have to tell me. I know. Then our discussion is over. You said you wanted to talk to me about something, but I guess we're done talking now. We're getting a divorce anyway. I have nothing to tell you now. I'm going to file the divorce papers. Are you sure about this? You bet I am. <laughs> I don't want a low-earning old hag. <laughs> Just file those divorce papers. Okay, I will. I'm a free man now. Pack your bags and get out. I'll throw out your stuff if you don't do it soon. They accepted the divorce papers. Whew, that felt so good. Thank you. I'm moving out now. Huh? Why are you... Why are you thanking me all of a sudden? I meant... Thank you for breaking up with me. You would have taken all my money if we still had been together. I'm glad you told me about your affair and wanted a divorce. You only earn a tiny amount of money. <laughs> I don't want your money. <laughs> I haven't told you, but... I got a new job, and I'm earning a much higher salary. It's going to be over $5,000 a month. What? $5,000? You're totally happy with a woman who earns $2,000 a month, aren't you? Good for you. I wish you good luck. You're trying too hard. There's no way you got a job that pays $5,000 a month. I've worked every job I could in the past two years. I went on a lot of business trips to earn benefits. In fact, I had a fateful encounter on one of the trips. A fateful encounter? I had the opportunity to meet the executive of the parent company of the company I worked for. There were a lot of mishaps at work, and the person in charge was completely useless. So I dealt with the problems instead. Then the executive recognized my ability to work and hired me. Stop being delusional. The executive of a large corporation would never recognize your ability. I don't care if you believe me or not, but it is a fact that my life is going to improve. I'm going to quit my current job by the end of March and move to New York. To New York? The company is located in Manhattan. You've always dreamed of living in New York. Too bad you can't realize that dream. You can't move there with me after getting a divorce. I'm not jealous. What good things could happen if an old hag like you moves to New York? Your best years as a woman has long gone. New York is not only a place for young people. There are a lot of fun things to do for people my age. Well, it doesn't concern you anyway. Live happily ever after with a country girl in a small town. Who do you think you are, making fun of me? Who do you think you are, calling me an old tag? Look at you. You're grandpa. Don't you see that the joke is on you whenever you call me an old tag? You're a scumbag who does nothing but get into debt. Shut up! You can't even think of a word to talk back to me. It proves your lack of vocabulary knowledge that you can only think of a simple insult. I am so ashamed to have devoted myself to a bonehead even for a short time. Why didn't you tell me about your new job? You brought up a divorce before I could tell you. Is that what you were going to tell me? It was close. I'm so glad I let you talk first. If I told you this, you wouldn't have told me about your affair or brought up a divorce. I got out of taking a good-for-nothing asshole to New York with me. I should throw out unnecessary things when I move. You... Idiot! You're lower than me, whom you've always looked down on. Wait for a second. You were headhunted because I borrowed money? Give me some of your earnings. You're undoubtedly dumb. Do you actually believe I would say yes? I already sent all my belongings to my apartment, by the way. Feel free to welcome that young country girl 
to your home anytime. Wait, Amanda. You still love me, don't you? Don't be stupid. There's no way I still love you. You're just mad because I cheated on you. I'll break up with that girl. So do you want to get back together with me? I'm good. Go ahead and marry that girl. I know that any woman who takes someone else's man is a hoe. She's a perfect girl for you. I hope you live happily ever after with a hoe who has nothing but youth. A year after Stephen and his girlfriend married, they were drowning in debt. As it turned out, they were both extravagant spenders. This time, there was no one to save Steve's skin, and they were on the edge of bankruptcy. Stephen contacted me to ask for help. He asked me to lend him money, but I refused him without a second thought. His new ex-wife dumped him and disappeared from him. She turned out to be a hoe, just as I thought. On the contrary, I have changed dramatically since my new life started. I have lost weight, changed my makeup and hairstyle, and started putting on nicer clothes. There are many beautiful women around the age of 40. Those women also enjoy fashion, work, and romance. I decided to be one of them. My life starts here. Now.